Hey guys, this is Brandy. Um, I wanted to show you guys how to darken your backgrounds in uh, outdoor portraits. Um, when you use this technique, it'll not only darken your background, but it's going to also add a bit of contrast to it. So I'm going to show you that, guys the before picture, which is this right here, and then this is how it's going to look afterwards. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate my layer by clicking Control J on my keyboard. And now I'm going to go down here to my Adjustments panel and select Solid Color. Now using my color slider here, I'm going to take it up to an orange. And now I'm going to make the color a very dark brown. It's going to be kind of on the borderline of black and brown, I guess you can say. Uh, on your computer screen it might look black, but I'm seeing a dark brown. I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to click right here, this white box, which is my layer mask, and I'm going to select soft light. Okay, so now I'm going to click B on my keyboard for my paintbrush tool, and I'm going to make sure that my paintbrush's color is black. Uh, yeah, right there. And now I'm going to start painting the effect off of her skin. So I'm just going to start painting it off of her clothes and her skin, her hair. Um, painting it off of the hair is optional. Uh, sometimes it can, you know, enhance the image a little bit more if you keep it on the hair. So I'm going to take it off of this blanket here. I'm going to add it back into the grass right here. To get a little detailed and add it back to the grass here. And here. Okay, so now I'm going to go over here and lower my opacity down just a tad. I'm personally not going to lower it too much because I want you guys to see the effect that it has on the image. So I'm going to take it down to about 60. And that's all there is to it. It's not hard at all. So here's the before, after, before, after. And like I was saying, uh, it's optional uh, to remove it from the hair of your subject. So I'm actually going to add it back in onto her hair just a tad so it won't look so washed out. I'm going to take the opacity down to about 20. Again, before, after, before, after. There we go. So it's pretty easy. I'm going to flatten this. Click flatten and we're done. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see any of my future tutorials, be sure to subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye.